Malachi chapter 1 The oracle of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi Israel preferred to Edom I have loved you says the Lord but you say how hast thou loved us Is not Esau Jacob's brother says the Lord yet I have loved Jacob but I have hated Esau I have laid waste his hill country and left his heritage to jackals of the desert if edom says we are shattered but we will rebuild the ruins the lord of hosts says they may build but i will tear down till they are called the wicked country the people with whom the lord is angry forever your own eyes shall see this and you shall say great is the lord beyond the border of israel corruption of the priesthood A son honors his father and a servant his master if then i am a father where is my honor and if i am a master where is my fear says the lord of hosts to you o priest who despise my name you say how have we despised thy name by offering polluted food upon my altar and you say how have we polluted it by thinking that the lord's table may be despised when you offer blind animals in sacrifice is that no evil present that to your governor will he be pleased with you or show you favor says the lord of host and now entry the favor of god that he may be gracious to us with such a gift from your hand will he show favor to any of you says the lord of host oh that there were one among you who would shut the doors that you might not kindle fire upon my altar in vain i have no pleasure in you says the lord of host and i will not accept an offering from your hand for from the rising of the sun to its setting my name is great among the nations and in every place incense is offered to my name and a pure offering for my name is great among the nations says the lord of host but you profane it when you say that the lord's table is polluted and the food for it may be despised what a weariness this is you say and you sniff at me says the lord of host you bring what has been taken by violence or is lame or sick and this you bring as your offering Shall I accept that from your hand says the Lord Cursed be the cheat who has a male in his flock and woes it and yet sacrifices to the Lord what is blemished for I am a great king says the Lord of hosts and my name is feared among the nations Malachi chapter 2 And now O priest this command is for you if you will not listen If you will not lay it to heart to give glory to my name says the Lord of hosts then I will send the curse upon you and I will curse your blessings indeed I have already cursed them because you do not lay it to heart behold I will rebuke your offering and spread dung upon your face the dung of your offerings and I will put you out of my presence so shall you know that i have sent this command to you that my covenant with levi may hold says the lord of host my covenant with him was a covenant of life and peace and i gave them to him that he might fear and he feared me he stood in awe of my name true instruction was in his mouth and no wrong was found on his lips he walked with me in peace and uprightness and he turned many from iniquity for the lips of a priest should guard knowledge and men should seek instruction from his mouth for he is the messenger of the lord of host but you have turned aside from the way you have caused many to stumble by your instruction you have corrupted the covenant of levi says the lord of host and so i make you despised and abased before all the people in as much as you have not kept my ways but have shown partiality in your instruction the covenant profaned by judah 
have we not all one father has not one god created us why then are we faithless to one another profaning the covenant of our fathers jura has been faithless an abomination has been committed in israel and in jerusalem for juda has profaned the sanctuary of the lord which he loves and has married the daughter of a foreign god may the lord cut off from the tents of jacob for the man who does this any to witness or answer or to bring an offering to the lord of hosts and this again you do you cover the lord's altar with tears with weeping and groaning because he no longer regards the offering or accepts it with favor at your hand you ask why does he not because the lord was witness to the covenant between you and the wife of your youth to whom you have been faithless though she is your companion and your wife by covenant has not the one god made and sustained for us the spirit of life and what does he desire godly of spring so take heed to yourself and let none be faithless to the wife of his youth for i hate divorce says the lord the god of israel the covering one's garment with violence says the lord of host so take heed to yourself do not be faithless you have wearied the lord with your words yet you say how have we wearied him by saying every one who does evil is good in the sight of the lord and he delights in them or by asking where is the god of justice malachi chapter 3 the coming messenger behold i send my messenger to prepare the way before me and the lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight behold he is coming says the lord of host but who can endure the day of his coming and who can stand when he appears for he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap he will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver and he will purify the sons of levi and refine them like gold and silver till they present right offerings to the lord then the offering of juda and jerusalem will be pleasing to the lord as in the days of old and as in former years then i will draw near to you for judgment i will be a swift witness against the sorcerers against the adulterers against those who swear falsely against those who oppress the hireling in his wages the widow and the orphan against those who trust aside the sojourner and do not fear me says the lord of host do not rob god for i the lord do not change therefore you o sons of jacob are not consumed from the days of your fathers you have turned aside from my statutes and have not kept them return to me and i will return to you says the lord of host but you say how shall we return will man rob god yet you are robbing me but you say how are we robbing thee in your tithes and offerings you are cursed with a curse for you are robbing me the whole nation of you bring the full tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house and thereby put me to the test says the lord of host if i will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you an overflowing blessing i will rebuke the devourer for you so that it will not destroy the fruits of your soil and your wine in the field shall not fail to bear says the lord of host then all nations will call you blessed for you will be a land of delight says the lord of host your words have been stout against me says the lord yet you say how have we spoken against thee you have said it is vain to serve god what is the good of our keeping his charge or of walking as in mourning before the lord of host 
henceforth we deem the arrogant blessed evil doers not only prosper but when they put god to the test they escape the reward of the faithful then those who fear the lord spoke with one another the lord heeded and heard them and a book of remembrance was written before him of those who feared the lord and thought on his name they shall be mine says the lord of host my special possession on the day when i act and i will spare them as a man spares his son who serves him then once more you shall distinguish between the righteous and the wicked between one who serves god and one who does not serve him malachi chapter 4 the great day of the lord for behold the day comes burning like an oven when all the arrogant and all evil doers will be stumbled the day that comes shall burn them up says the lord of hosts so that it will leave them neither root nor branch but for you who fear my name the sun of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings you shall go forth leaping like calves from the stall and you shall tread down the wicked for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day when i act says the lord of hosts remember the law of my servant moses the statutes and ordinances that i commanded him at horeb for all israel behold i will send you elijah the prophet before the great and terrible day of the lord comes and he will turn the hearts of fathers to their children and the hearts of children to their fathers lest i come and smite the land with a curse